Hello everyone, it's talk time. Let's go over the KKW kit. When the box first arrived and I took the box out, so the packaging, I was pleasantly surprised at how nice this feels. This feels smooth, like I keep wanting to touch it. I just have that, that sensation. I, I, I love how smooth it feels. It feels expensive to me. Just slide it, push it, and then it just opens up. I don't know. I like, I like the packaging. Cream liquids themselves, you have this frosted glass container, you have the drippings that go around, you know, standard brand design, the names on the bottom, carrying stand. So I like it. I thought the packaging was nice. Again, it feels expensive to me. So I appreciate that. I have actually been wearing all of the cream liquids since May 9th, and I've been swatching them, seeing how they wear throughout the day, wearing them with all different types of lip liners. So I'm gonna give you some suggestions and a couple of tips as well. My curiosity of what is a cream liquid lipstick is what prompted me to purchase these. I wanted to see how comfortable the formula would be. Is it really going to lean more towards a liquid lipstick and the characteristics that go with that, or is it gonna be more of like a cream lipstick? Texture of the formula, it's smooth. It's not thick, but then it's not too thin. I would say it's still kind of creeping closer towards the thin side, but in each swatch and each application, I can see that it's streaky. This formula doesn't truly turn into an opaque appearance on the lips on its own. That's with the first three shades. The last shade, Kimmy, is it Kimmy? Yeah, Kimmy. Kimmy is the only one that appeared, like you can see as you build it up, you can see the formula start to turn into like, you know, creamy formula and it's not streaking. Now moving on to the actual shades themselves. So they do run from going left to right. The shades go from light to dark. So you have Kimberly, which is the first one. That is what I would consider a pale pink. The second one is Kim. I would consider that a light pink. Then you have the third one, which is Kiki, that's medium pink. And then the last one, which is Kimmy, that is the darkest one, and that is what I would consider a dark pink. The dark pink is my favorite one because that's the one that works the best on my skin tone. It's the one that works the best with no lip liner. Now in this video, the color that I'm wearing is the lightest shade because it's the one, A, I wanted to show you that you could wear the light shade and still not look, you know, insane. This is Kimberly, which is the pale pink. The lip liner that I feel pairs the best with all of the shades. This is from Chanel. It's a classic, it's an oldie, but it will always be in my collection. While I'm here on this earth, it will always be in my collection. So this is the Precision Lip Definer and this is in Nude. It is a pink brown based lip liner. That's why it goes with all pinks and that's why it goes with all browns. I have it on with this and I put actually two coats of Kimberly on top. So Kimberly still looks a little bit lighter, but it is toned down with this Chanel Nude. Look for something in your collection that is a pink brown base. Chanel Nude, if you have it. Um, I know that Wet n Wild has one that's called 666, so that will work as well. Longevity of the cream liquids, I don't feel that they last very long. I feel that this is something that is going to need to be reapplied throughout the day. And then last, I wanted to leave you with the color itself. I And I'm only saying this because I feel that there's just so much talk about the colors of the cream liquids, how they are and how they're not geared towards a huge population as far as various skin tones. And we're talking from pale skin down to very deep. And it's just something that I've noticed from watching videos and some, and you know, from reading comments on social media. So I wanted to leave with this. This is my expectation. I already purchased this kit already knowing in, with the expectation that this is a collab between Kylie and her sister Kim. I do not look like either one of them. They don't look like me. Our skin tones are vastly different. 
So I already went in with the expectation that the shades probably will not work. Well, let's say all of them will probably not work on me. I'm gonna to have to tweak it. I'm gonna to need to use some lip liners. I might have to wear something else with it. I already went in. I wanted to see the formula as far as the cream liquids and I wanted to do a review on the product for the public, but I already went in with that expectation. To my surprise, the last one, Kimmy, works. Works on its own and of course it works with the lip liner. But I'm saying this because I think that there's so much backlash on this product in itself when there really doesn't need to be. If the brand, if Kylie herself had collaborated with, let's say, Jordan Woods or Heather Saunders, I think that's her name. I'm just saying the two girls I see a lot on her Instagram. If, if she had collaborated with somebody with much darker skin tone, you know, th those two ladies, I believe they're African-American. If she had collaborated and made lipstick kits with those girls, now I wouldn't have expected that then I could say, you know what? I think these colors are going to be geared more towards darker skin, tan skin, medium skin, medium dark skin. These are shades that apparently her sister wears and they're going from pale pink and then all the way down to what they consider is a dark pink to match Kim's skin tone, but also probably Kylie herself. So I'm saying this just if you as a consumer, you're trying to think about, will it work for me? Look at who it's geared towards. And if you don't look like them, if they're not close to your skin tone, just go with the expectation. It might not work for you. You might need to tweak it some. I'm saying this is so that when the product arrives, if this is something you do pick up, you're not gonna be disappointed, okay? Take what you get from the video as far as the texture and you know, there's no smell, the longevity, and this, that, and the other. Take all those attributes of the product itself, but also, really take the color itself into consideration. Just because the kit is not geared towards everybody under the sun doesn't make it a bad product. But also at the end of the day, I am a consumer just as much as you are. I watch a lot of videos just as much as you. Life is too short to be fighting over little stupid stuff like this kit isn't geared towards everybody. And I'm just enough is enough is enough. I am happy that I purchased the kit. So I got to at least try out the formula. It is a formula that, that needs improvement so that everything, if they make any additional colors within this cream liquid lipstick, that they get this formula right so it can stop looking so streaky on various colors. So they need to work on the formula. So if this is something you've already picked up, or if this is something you're thinking of picking up, leave some comments, especially if you've been wearing them with lip liners. Let us all know what lip liners you've been picking. That way you can kind of help everybody as they come by and they read the comments. I do want to thank you for stopping by and watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.